Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make perfect, easy to peel, hard boiled eggs every time. Now, if you've made hard boiled eggs before, like I have, and I love them, they're delicious. Um, you know the, that getting the, the egg out of the shell seems to be a real pain in the butt sometimes. Some are easier than others. Others, you just destroy them taking off the shell. But I have a trick to get the shell off the egg perfectly every time. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Here are the things we're going to need to make this perfect egg every time. Number one, we need a pot, a pot to uh, boil water in. Obviously we need eggs. Uh, I've got some large USDA grade A eggs here that I'm going to be using. Uh, I've got a measuring spoon. This is a tablespoon, which I'm going to use to put a tablespoon of oil into that pot. Um, you can use any kind of oil you want. I'm going to use coconut oil, but you can use olive oil or vegetable oil. It doesn't matter. Any kind of oil will do. I've got several uh, uh, types of spoons here. Uh, tablespoon. I've got a uh, uh, pasta spoon here and just a slotted spoon. Uh, you can use any one of these three uh, spoons to put the eggs in the boiling water. So I suggest using a long spoon like these here uh, because basically you don't want to get splashed back from the uh, hot water when you're putting the uh, egg into the pot. So I'll show you all the steps to do it next. All right, first thing we're going to do is put enough water in, the, in the, our pot to uh, immerse the eggs uh, totally. In other words, they're fully covered with water when they're in there. So this is enough here on my pot. I'm going to turn the element on high and then boil this water. A uh, safety note, notice that I have the handle facing towards the inner part of the stove. That keeps it from hanging over the edge, which uh, keeps anybody from walking by and knocking it off. So safety first, keep the handle uh, away from uh, the edges of the stove. Uh, that makes it a lot safer. So let's put the lid on here, put it on high. All right, I got the water at full boil here. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit, switching it down to oh, around s between seven and eight on my uh, dial there. But uh, that should make it come down to a rolling boil. And that's where we want it at a rolling boil. Next, uh, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of my oil. If you're using uh, olive oil, you just pour it in. Uh, I'm using uh, coconut oil here, so I'm just going to scoop out a tablespoon out of this and just put it in like so. Let it melt in there. It will dissolve. There we go. There we go. So we've got the oil in the water. We've got it at a roll and boil. Uh, it looks like I got it a little too low here. I'm going to take it up to eight. There we go. And um, so yeah, now you can see here that my dial's on eight. That'll give me, like I said, we want a rolling boil, roll, rolling boil on that water. Next, we're going to put the eggs in the water and uh, we're going to set the timer for 13 minutes. If you don't have a timer, if you have a, a watch or a uh, you know, cell phone, you should have a timer. My oven has a timer, so I'll set that. And as you can see, we've got the roll, rolling boil going on here. Now you can use just a tablespoon like so to put the eggs in. You don't want to break them putting them in, so uh, you can use this. I'm going to use this and, you know, right at the end and just low, slowly and easily lower it in. Uh, tablespoon works okay. Slotted spoon works better because you get more distance. So uh, let's put it, use the slotted spoon here. There we go, much easier. Um, or you could use like a spaghetti, uh, you know, tool like that. But uh, the slotted spoon's fine for me. And I, you want to put the eggs in as quickly as, you, as possible. Uh, I'm going to put in like four here for the sake of example. There we go. And be real gentle with them. You don't want to crack them, put them in. Uh, you can see here that I've got the oil all, uh, it's all, it's, well, it's uh, liquefied on top. And the basic premise here is that uh, the oil and the water will make the, I'm putting the heat up to nine. Uh, so yeah, I've, not, I've kind of lost the rolling boil, so I put it back up to nine here on the dial. So just low, just short of high. And let me bring this down here so you can see it better. There we go. So we got a rolling boil. Uh, the eggs are in the, in the water with the oil on the top. And what will happen is the oil will permeate, permeate through the shells. The, the, she, the shells are actually porous. The oil will, uh, will per, uh, permeate the shells a little bit. And that will basically lubricate the shell and the shell will fall right off of that. So 13 minutes, uh, obviously I've had it in there for two minutes already or a minute or so. 
So I'm gonna set my timer for 12 minutes. You should do that right away when you put the uh, uh, eggs in. And you should set the timer for 13 minutes. Okay, but since I've been talking, I've got to, I've got to set for 12, but 13 minutes is optimal. Next thing you're gonna to need to do while the eggs are boiling, just put in some cold water into a container so that you can uh, basically put the eggs into to cool them down after cooking so that, that stops the cooking process as quickly as possible. Some people use an ice, uh, ice bath, like put some ice cubes in here in cold water. I find cold water works just fine. I'm gonna fill this up full of cold water from the tap and then I'm gonna put the eggs into it. Uh, let them sit there for a minute or two and then we're gonna shell them and they should be perfect. All right, my timer's gone off. I've got the cold water over here. Let me turn that timer off. I've got the cold water over here and the eggs in here. So we wanna just take the eggs out here, um, turn the heat off, don't need that anymore. And just put them in the cold water. That'll stop the uh, cooking process of the eggs quickly. Therefore, uh, making sure that they don't overcook. Um, there they go, into the cold water. All right. So we have the eggs in the cold water, uh, as you can see there. And uh, our water's cooling down here. I'm just gonna put the lid on it, move it over here to the back of the stove where it's safest and just let that cool by itself. Uh, let the eggs uh, cool down for two minutes and then we're gonna shell them and I'm gonna show you how nice they turn out when they are, when they are ready to be eaten, which is two minutes from now. All right, my timer has gone off, two minutes have elapsed. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of oil in the top of the water, that's normal. Obviously we boiled the eggs in oil, there's gonna be some oil in the water. There'll be some eggs, some oil in the eggs when you take them out, that's the point. So at this point, these should be, you know, cool enough to touch with your hand, and they are. Okay, so here we're just gonna crack them up. Like so. Get the shell nice and loose. And at this point, watch this beautiful thing. The shell just peels off without any issue whatsoever. Just like that. All right, isn't that beautiful how that come out, came out? Look at this, perfect, perfect, perfect egg. Love that. Okay, you might wanna rinse it, get maybe the, you know, be a little bit of shell on it. Uh, but this one, as you can see, perfect. So let's do it with the rest of them. And you know, while I'm doing this here, well, let's just peel another one, have it be perfect again, because they're always going to be perfect. Look how nice that is. Again, you know, it might be a little bit of little bits of shell on the outside. Maybe give, you know, give them a rinse, right? But again, another perfect, beautiful egg. Um, let's keep going. Now, the science behind this is that the shell is somewhat uh, porous, it is porous, and when you boil them in water and a little bit of oil, the oil penetrates the shell and that lubricates the shell from the uh, outside of the egg and makes it really easy to peel off. So here we go again. Um, okay, continue on. My fingers are a little oily. There we go. And again, just peel it off like normal. Now, some people run the water under water, run these underwater if they want. Um, but as you can see, really quite simple, quite nice. Uh, again, rinse them off to get the little pieces of shell off of them. But once again, another perfect egg. And let's do that on the fourth. And uh, yeah, these will all be hard boiled. I'm gonna cut them open so you can see what's inside uh, and uh, see how nice they are when they're finished, when you do them right. And like I said, it's 13 minutes on the timer. I put in 12 because, hey, I was talking and a minute passed while I was doing that, I was estimating. So, you know, um, 13 minutes is usually the optimal amount. All right, again, perfect eggs. So let's cut them open and see what we have how they're cooked in the center. 
All right, let's get one open here. Let's, let's do them all. Here we go. All right, we have the egg. We'll cut it open. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the center of that egg. That's just perfect. All right? So we'll do it with all of them. So you guys can see that they are all perfect. Um, hopefully you guys can see them. There we go. Eight, oh well, four perfectly hard boiled eggs uh, with the shells coming off very easily. Uh, again, um, you know, that's my way of doing it. And, uh, you know, there is what you get out of the deal. So, uh, you know, I'll wrap this up here and, uh, you know, basically eat some eggs. Okay, that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a big favor and click on the like button here in the bottom right hand corner. Give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel and my video and I greatly appreciate it. Also somewhere over here, you should see a picture of me and that picture is the subscription link. If you click on that, you'll be subscribed to my channel and also you'll get a bell icon in the process of clicking on that uh, icon and that bell is the notification bell. If you click on that as well, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Once again, and like always, I want to thank you for watching and for your time. Now, I'm just going to continue eating these delicious eggs.